back to my channel today i'm gonna start off by drilling my nails i'm doing this so i can take all of the shine off and make sure that around my cuticle is clean you want to prep your nails before you even start doing anything because if you don't prep your nails you're not going to get a long hold especially if around your cuticle is not like cleaned and buffed after I'm done doing that, I'm going to use a file using the more softer side just to take out the shine on my natural nail. The rest of the nail, you can use your drill to do this, but I just like using my file because I feel like it gives me more control and I'm not drilling it down too much. And now I'm just going to take this clear plastic. I had this for years. I'm cutting it into little pieces because I want to use it for some of my nails. If you watch my other video, like my birthday video and other videos like that, my nail videos, you will see that I did this before, but I'm just showing you how I literally just cut it in little strips. And then this is all we're going to use. We're going to use less than this. I'm using this chunky glitter I got from Sally's and then this fine glitter, which is a more purple glitter and like a white iridescent type of glitter. So here I'm going to be using these C-curve nails from Des Did That. I ordered this online and I measured the nails before I even start because you don't want to start gluing your nails and you still have to go into the packaging to get the nail sized. So I just measure it and I pull all of them out like so and I'm just showing you make sure that it's not flooding or falling over the sides or too small. And then before I start I'm going to buff the inside where i want it to stick just to make sure that the nail will adhere to my finger to my natural nail properly and i'm also filing the pointy part just to make sure that it's laying good on top of my nail and this is what you want the nail to look like when you put it on it needs to be flat like that i'm going to be using this kds nail glue and i'm going to put a little tiny bit at the base of the, the, the fake nail <laughs> why am i talking crazy and then i'm going to start gluing i make sure that i push down from the back and then push forward if that makes sense and you see how the nail is laying flat that's how you want it to be you don't want it to be facing up too much or down too much so just level out your hand and hold it until it's dried and just put all of the nails on this nail glue dries pretty fast so yeah i'm gonna try to link everything down below or just like the names down below so you guys can check it out this is not a sponsored video i just felt like doing my nails and this is my new favorite nail tips i'm just gluing it on and this is how it looks i love this clear nail tip because if i want to do a clear nail it's going to be easy and then I like filing first just to make sure that this process is super fast. Even though this nail, this nail set took me two hours just because it's so long. But I like filing before I lay down my acrylic just because it makes the process go by way faster. And what I'm doing right here is I'm blending the nails together. So I'm blending my natural nail and the fake nail, as you can see. So it could be a seamless transition. But make sure you're putting more pressure on the fake nail. Here I'm going ahead and cutting off right underneath the number. Just because I didn't want it to be that long. And I didn't want the number in my um, nail set, I guess. I wasn't sure if you were going to see the number. I'm pretty sure you weren't. But these are extra long nail tips. So I didn't mind cutting a little bit off because it was super long. And I'm just measuring it to my other hand just to make sure that it's good. I always do my right hand before I do my left hand because my right hand is my dominant hand. And if I don't do it first, I will not be able to do the set. Okay. So I'm going in with these two, this nail prep and the extra bond. This is very important because the nail prep helps to dehydrate the nail so it could be no oils and very dry. And then the nail bond helps to make the acrylic stick to the nail for as long as possible. So as long as you do your base, like um, 
make sure you file your nail good and you use the extra bond and stuff your nail set is gonna last long I already cut down my nails because I had to do hair and stuff like that. So I didn't keep it on too long, but this is one of my favorite sets. I'm going in with my Soft Touch from Valentino. All my acrylic powders are from Valentino. And I'm using the Valentino um, monomer as well. I'm just putting little lines because I want it to be like a milky type of... I don't even know what you call this, but I'm just going to play the video so you guys can watch what I'm doing. I really cannot explain this, so just watch what I'm doing. I'm going in with the crystal clear and I'm going to put a light coat just to make the chunky glitter stick in between in between the white. Now I'm going in with the Perfect Nude and I'm going to use this as a transition shade which is going to act as my natural nail to the ombre effect that I'm trying to go for. And guys, I just want you to know that I'm not a professional so I know if you're a professional you're probably cringing because I'm dragging the acrylic powder. I still haven't forced myself to learn how to just leave it and level it out yet. So, And I'm not a professional, I never went to school for this so yeah. And I do my nails like once every like three to four months. So I really don't do it that often. But all I do is I try to make sure that the acrylic is not flooding my cuticle. Anything else, I don't care if I drag it or if I do whatever. So yeah, I'm just going to keep it, let it play so you guys can watch what I'm doing. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Why do nice people choose the wrong people to date? We accept the love we think we deserve. Can we make them know that they deserve more? We can try.
for this nail i went in and i added clear and white because i wanted it to be like um a <laughs> a triangle french tip type of thing but then i started adding the clear and then i would wait for it to dry down and file it and then i would add the white and the clear and the white and the clear so it can give me a different type of look so yeah that's all i'm doing right here the darkness. a world in which things would have fresh shapes and colors and be changed or have other secrets a world in which the past would have little or no place Outside, there is the stirring of birds among the leaves, or the sound of men going forth to their work, or the sigh and sob of the wind coming down from the hills and wandering round the silent house, as though it feared to awake the sleepers. And then once I'm done, I'm going to go in with my drill and I'm using a fine sanding drill bit just to file my nails, making sure that it's not bumpy and it's all like a leveled smooth surface. And then I'm using this other drill that has like a safety bit at the front of it. So I'm not cutting my cuticle and I'm just using that to file down my fingernail. And this makes it super smooth. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna go in with my cuticle oil. I got these cuticle pens from Amazon and I just got my cuticle oil from Sally's and I put it into the pen. And I'm putting it on my cuticle and then I'm gonna wash my fingers just like they do at the nail salon with some soap and water and my scrubbing brush thing. So once I do that, I just am gonna use my Madame Glam base gel and the top gel. So I'm just putting the base gel and then I'm going to put my nails in for 30 seconds in my gel lamp, UV lamp. And then I'm going to put my top coat both at the top of my nail. Then I'm going to put it in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to put it at the bottom of my nail and put it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Just because I do have some see-through nails 
here i want to make sure that it's literally like glass so putting it at the bottom of those see-through nails will make it look so good and once you do that i'm going to go in with 91 percent alcohol and i'm going to use that to wipe off the sticky layer off of my nail just to make sure that i'm not like putting a fingerprint on my nail or nothing like that this is just going to help to get rid of that tacky layer that the gel leaves and this is how the nails look this is basically the end look i love love these nails if you love these nails don't forget to give me a thumbs up like this video comment down below letting me know that you liked it and you enjoyed it i really enjoyed these nails i love these nails i'm probably gonna do my nails like this again i can't believe i cut them off already i didn't even have them for a good week yet i'm so annoyed and then i'm just adding some cuticle oil just to hydrate back up my cuticles and this is the end look i hope you guys liked it and i'm just gonna play some music for the outro i enjoyed making this video for you guys if you want to see more nail videos comment down below let me know your favorite color i'm actually loving this purple color i haven't did a purple nail set before so i really enjoyed this and yeah i love it i just changed my outfit so i can give you guys some aesthetic and i'm gonna play some music bye